Hey everybody, Marion the Barbarian here. I've got a great shake for you today. Today we're using Awesome Sauce. I have the old label. The one you just saw was the new label. Old label has CDB up. That's CDB right there. But anyways, Douglas did like a little short video. I think it was like on Instagram or something. And he was showing how to lather CK6. So if you don't know, Awesome Sauce is a dupe of Carrasso Green's aftershave. Not the soap, but the aftershave, because that smells different than the um, soap. So we are using a PAA brush because he used one. So we're going to try to keep it as matchy-matchy to accomplish what he did. He said you only need five swirls, but he did eight in the tub of CK6. We've dumped it. We've flipped a little out. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. I loaded ten times. All right? Now, supposedly, you should be able to build a lather with this. We're using the HCNC. Douglas did a lot of splaying in his scuttle, started agitating and working to build a lather. And at some point, he started adding water. We're going to do that. I'm sorry, this is going to take a little while, guys, but I really, I want to call bullshit, but I watched it with my own eyes. So we're going to see if it's possible. All right. This is where we are. Let's, I'd say that's working out a little bit better. And if that's really all you need, guys, <laughs> you're never going to fucking run out of soap. Like, seriously. Like, eight swirls across the top of your freaking... I went to ten, so I did cheat. I went to ten because I just didn't believe eight was going to work, and he said five would be good enough. So we're still going. We're building. Lather's creating. And as a matter of fact, as I'm looking at it, and keep adding water. Like, we're getting there. If I knew how to speed up video, I'd like stop now and speed up the lathering process. But, my abilities are not that great. So we're gonna keep talking, and look at this lather, guys. It's, it's, it's coming together. I'm sorry I doubted you, Douglas. I may try this from now on with a bunch of different new soaps. Like, hey, I'm going to swirl it eight, nine, ten times. And then we're going to try to build a lather in a bowl and, and see how that works out. I'd never run out of soap. Ever. Like, I'll never run out of soap to the end of the time if I stop buying soap right now. And this is the way I lathered soap. Plenty for three passes here, guys. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Touche Douglas. So, you'll see my goatee's a little, like it's thicker right here. My my clippers died on me mid-trim, so I've got them charging over here on the side. And at some point tonight, we're going to go back, and we're going to make sure the goatee is trimmed up properly. Believe it or not, more water is probably needed. I cannot believe how this worked out, guys. What the f... Okay. It's all you need with CK6, guys. You saw it here. I am going to rinse the top of the tub because I can't stand it. We did rinse the top. We're good. I'm blown away. Can't believe that's all it took to make a good lather. Making tacos tonight, guys. Okay, we are using that stainless... Not stainless, uh... What's it called? Uh, Gillette Spoiler. I think I'm going to have a new release. It comes out the 16th of October. And uh, the 16th of October. And I'll probably release it on Tuesday. No, yeah, Tuesday. People can know about it early on. Tell you what it smells like, where you'll be able to pick it up. Well, I say that and 
I want to be able to give the release time. And I don't have that. I have sent notes. I have the day it comes out. But not sent notes. Alright guys, two things I want to talk about in this shade. We're not talking about soap a lot. You know about CK6, Parasto Green. Awesome sauce, great stuff. So guys, if you live in the area, anywhere close, Nashville is going to be having a meetup in May. I will have the dates better hammered out. It looks like we're going to try to get a few artisans there. I know Pete Hendricks from HCNC will be there. I will be there. And, and what else do you need? People show up for that. No, I'm just joking. But we're going to try to get more people to show up. There's people in the Alabama area. Uh, maybe we can get Soap Commander to show up. I don't know. Just things I'm thinking about. Y'all tell me what you think. Um, I got a brewery in mind about where we could do the meetup. I've even got a buddy that does a food truck. I could hit him up and be like, hey, can we have a food truck outside the brewery? And we'd be set, guys. You don't even have to leave. Like, we can all hang there. You can eat. If you're a drinking person, you can drink and you can eat. If you want to just hang and you don't want to drink or eat, you can, you know, it doesn't matter. You can just hang. But uh, I'm also thinking about doing... And with that meetup, I'm thinking about doing a meetup soap. And I'm not making soaps, but I'm going to have... David had Douglas do it, where David was making So Sharp Limited soaps. Like, he wanted to start doing it. He only did it with one. At least recently. He's done it in the past, I believe. But mine are going to be Barbaric Shaving Enterprises would be like the name of the brand of the soap. I'd get Pete to make the soap in the splash, but they would be label designs I had done. I'm actually getting Shave On Gents to do it, Carlos, so I'm going to be, you know, transparent about it. He'd do the labels. And I would sell... The soap under my branding, and I'd probably sell it on Pete's website on HCNC. But I got a theme for my brand. It's nostalgic. Like the first soap that's going to be coming back, I'm going to use Pete because he's in town, it's closer, he makes splash. I love Maddie's soap and I appreciate it, but it's just right now to do that, and people still hit me up for Ecto Cooler. So we're going to bring Ecto Cooler back. We're going to redo the label differently. And it will have a splash. And I talked to Pete, like for me to do a soap like this, like I want to do. Which means this is my, my baby. Like, hey, Pete, this is what I want to make. This is the label. This is the scent I want to use. It's my thing. He'll do it. Um, if we were collaborating, his input more because he's got something to lose. He's going to get paid up front. Like I said, it's it's my soap and splash. It's my idea. There's menthol in this, guys. That's, that's what I'm noticing right now. Are we doing third pass? Is that what I'm doing? <coughs> but the way it would go is 55 soaps, 37 splashes. When he buys scenting oil, he has to buy that minimum amount, and that's what it makes. 55 soaps, 37 splashes. He says it's not that easy to sell. 50 tubs of soap. And I, I believe that's true, people. But I can't tell you how many people still ask me for Ecto Cooler. And I think we got people that watch my channel. And I think there's other people that are nostalgic. For childhood things. And Ecto Cooler High C was very much a part of my childhood and many other people around my age. Give or take a couple of years. So, 
just like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was. So there it is, guys, y'all. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's, do you think I can sell, you know, 55 tubs of soaps and 37 splashes if I redid Ecto Cooler? But that is the hope, is that I could sell them all. And if they did sell all, then I'd make a second batch and just keep them on his website for people that wanted it moving on. Because the way it always goes, when you run a new, when you do like a limited soap batch like that, and you just really want to sell that batch because you're like, man, I got a lot of money invested in this because I've done it before. I've got money invested in this. I need to recoup it. I don't have a ton of cash. You're like happy to get rid of that first release and done. You're like, whew, okay, good. If I can sell them all, I'll reinvest the money and make another run and let it sit on a website even if we only sell a tub or two, you know, every couple of months or every month. I'm fine with that. But anyways, guys, y'all know the drill. We're going to rinse up. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back feeling good. That was a nice shave. Enjoyed the shave. Everything's feeling close. Um, all right, we'll follow it up with the splash. Awesome sauce. So, you know, guys, tell me what you think. Definitely going to start doing that. I, I just, it's not a money-making venture. There's just some, there's some soaps I want. Like I would like the label of, some scents I would want. And it's really hard to get an artisan to like listen to you and make some of the stuff you would like and them do it and make profit from it. You're like, here's the idea. Run with it, dude. I would love to see this made. People don't want to do it. So I'm going to take it into my own hands if we're going to do it. And hopefully people enjoy it and it works out. And I'm right. And the artisans were wrong. That's that's what, that's what we're hoping, people. So awesome sauce. Ooh, we got the menthol. I like it. Great colony scent. And we did use the uh, Star Wisp PAA. Can y'all believe that, guys? I ended up doing 10 swirls. But 10 just light swirls across the tip. Like no pushing in. Just light swirls. With the wet brush and build that, <laughs> built that lather. I'm, I'm impressed because that's less soap than I put in the bottom of a bowl to normally make a bowl lather. So I'm impressed. All right, guys, you made it this far. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about my ideas. Tell me what you think about ten swirls and then you get more than three passes worth of lather. That's mind blowing. All right, people, consider subscribing and hit that noti bell. And you know we we'll, we will catch you on that next shade.